Beyonce, please understand that we, along with Jolene, do not want your man. Beyonce has dropped another album entitled Cowboy Carter, and I'll be doing a quick review on my thoughts about this album. Now, just to get into the title of the album, the album being called Cowboy Carter, um, I didn't like how basic it is. <laughs> I'm really a sucker for um, well-thought-out titles for both albums and also the song, the track listing on said album. And she decided to name this Cowboy Carter. Now, of course, Carter, being her legal uh, last name now that she's married to Mr. Sean, uh, Corey Carter, her husband, a.k.a. Jay-Z. So, okay, Carter, that's her married name. Um, then Cowboy. I thought, like, is that like a feminist thing? Why can't she be called, why can't she call the album Cowgirl Carter? You know, she is a woman. But, um, I'm like, okay, interesting. So, I came prepared with some notes, so bear with me. Again, I don't want to go through all the entire uh, track listing, because, again, it was 27 uh, songs in this album. I'm really tired of that. I'm going to make another video about that soon. But I just want to give you here and there, like, just my overall opinion. So the album is 27 songs long. It is one hour and 19 minutes. The album starts off with a song titled American Requiem. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Again, she has great vocals on this song. Um, it's almost like a church-like organ song if you ever grew up like in a Baptist church. But at the same time, it has uh, undertones of country music. Like she's Again, like this album is kind of an ode. She wants to get into her country music bag. Now, again, I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but um, Beyonce was born and raised in Houston, Texas. That is the country. She is a country gal. So her experimenting with country music in this album, it should not be seen as a shock for those who have been a fan of Beyonce throughout the years because she has done country music before. I like the song Blackbird. It gives a very, like a, almost like a soft, gentle lullaby for a child. Um, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, someone gathering, a group of people gathering uh, along the campfire and just having a really good time. Again, 16 Carriages, I didn't really like much. I only like the 16 Carriages uh, song on TikTok, the TikTok song that they mix with um, uh, Maxwell's Fortunate. I love that. 16 Carriages, driving away on a... But uh, uh, Fortunate playing as the instrumental. Beautiful. Her track, Protector, is a very slow song. It's a very sweet, gentle song. It's an ode to motherhood. So, no, it's nice. It's okay. I don't, I don't hate it. My Rose is very short, it's like under a minute long. She really has great vocals on this track. Not, on, not just Beyonce, but she has some background vocals that just come together. They just really just come together in unison. It's really beautiful. I like that song, My Rose. It's also a track about embracing your flaws. So again, My Rose is actually one that uh, stood out to me. I like that song on this album. Texas Hold'em. This ain't Texas. This show the fuck ain't. I don't really like that song. A lot of people didn't like it. Um... I think it was one that was a weak single for her to put out. I don't think she should have put that out at all. She should have. It was so many other options for her to choose from from this album. I mean, it's 27 songs. Texas Hold'em ain't it. Next, Beyonce. Bodyguard has a very upbeat drum to it. It's very smooth vocals and it's very upbeat. And um, I like it. Jolene. And this is when Beyonce has to come out of her pick me bag. She's begging Jolene to not take her man and. I wish you would understand. She even actually threatens to whoop Jolene's ass in this track if she dares try to snatch her man or even look at his way. Beyonce. Sean is all yours, baby. Daughter is okay. You know, it's all right. Uh, so to me, daughter and protector, they're kind of like two in one. They kind of sound similar to me. They're about, you know, kind of like motherhood and just being protective over your children. And, you know, it's all right. Spaghetti. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of Beyonce when she does this, like, she tries to rap. It's like she sings raps. That's what Spaghetti is. It's like a short song. So it's under two minutes. So, but to me, honestly, Spaghetti was cringe. Next. Alligator Tears is very, very country. I didn't like it. Um, the lyrics are okay. Um, beautiful lyrics. Has a good message, but it's not for me. Yeah, yeah. It's actually another popular song on this album. I didn't like it. It's very annoying. No. I love Desert Eagle. It has a very, very beautiful bass guitar. I love it. River Dance. How can we not uh, mention this? Very, very popular song, especially on TikTok. Bounce on the shit, dance, dance. Bounce on the shit, dance, dance. Bounce on the shit, dance, dance. Bounce on the shit, no hands. She actually has a very, um, she has some a couple of um, features on this album that we didn't expect. Of course, she has the Dolly Parton. She has Post Malone, and she has Miley Cyrus on Two Most Wanted. Really good vocals from both of them. I just can't believe that um, it's just so random that she actually collabed with both Post Malone, but especially Miley Cyrus. Like, wow. 
My number one song on this album that I loved, hands down, is Two Hands to Heaven. Beautiful, beautiful vocals. And it actually is R&B. Um, I think that's probably why I like it so much. Um, it doesn't really give much country. It's very much in her R&B bag. And I just love that outro. The love run through me like lava. Take these hips on these hips. And I mean, like, it's just, I love it. Love, 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 love that song. Overall, I have to give this, I'll give her a three out of five stars. You know, Beyonce did her thing. She tried, you know, to, you know, she's experimenting. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But overall, I'm just not with it. To the, the song title, I don't like that. Um, I believe it's a filler album. It's a lot of skits on here. That's kind of pointless. I understand, like, with an album, skits are meant to tell a story, like the journey, and the, and you just go on a journey in the process of the album uh, making process with that artist. But I didn't like it. I don't like how, I don't like long albums if it's just going to be filled with fillers. Like, look, if you got 10 great songs, 10 great solid songs, then make the album 10 songs. That's it. Why do we have a 27 album track? And it's a bunch of skits. And then, like, some of the features I didn't like. Um, like, the Post Malone one is forgettable for, for, for me. Um, you know, I don't really remember. I can't remember the name of that song. All in all, I want Beyonce. This is what I want from Beyonce. This, this is my expectation as an artist, as a fan. Okay, I'm a fan. I'm not a hater. This is just me giving her constructive criticism. Stop bringing Jay-Z into your music. Okay? That's, that's one. We need more than just love songs. But if you're going to make love songs... Not about him. Does that make sense? Like, I want you to tell a story from someone else's point of view. But make it sound good. Make it feel good. Make the vibe feel good. That's what I need. I need that in another level of creativity. I'm going to start writing music, y'all. Y'all think I'm playing. Listen, I got I got the vision in my head what we missing as a, as a culture, as a people, when it comes to the music industry nowadays. And I feel like I could actually, I could give that. And my singing needs a little bit of work. But, um... I think I could deliver. I just want Beyonce to like stop writing trends again. Like I know she done country before. She does. She did rap before, but again, every time she raps, I just cringe. I don't like it. I just wish that um again she would just stick to the tried and true. Like not put her in a box. Like I'm not being disrespectful. I'll, I'll give it to you like this. I want to hear Beyonce. I would not mind at all for her to try a jazz album. I want so many artists to do jazz. It don't make no sense. I love jazz music. I don't understand exactly why we gave that up, especially Erica Badu. I would love for Erica Badu to come out with a hit jazz album. But again, this has been my review for Beyonce's Cowboy Carter album. I want you to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below your thoughts on how you feel about Cowboy Carter, the album as a whole. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are some things that you think that you can suggest to Beyonce to do differently? Do you believe that she deserves album of the year next year? Do you think she'll beat Taylor Swift's album? Let's be real, she's not. Um, comment down below. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.